Hello, dozers. This is Ray with the Spanish Ministry. Uh, I, I want to share with you about uh, right before Jacob dies uh, in the book of Genesis, he is um, saying some blessings about his children. You know, he had 12 children and uh, the uh, tribes of Israel and stuff. But especially, he, he says something about Joseph. Remember, Joseph saved everybody's lives. He, he was the, like the hero uh, in Egypt. And um, he, he says a blessing about Joseph, and he says, Joseph is a fruitful vine, a fruitful vine near a spring, whose branches climb over a wall. With bitterness, archers attacked him. They shot at him with hostility. And, and he says something very positive about Joseph first, and then he reminds us, well, but Joseph's life was not easy. I mean, he's, this guy was put in prison. He was sold by his brothers uh, to a bunch of gypsies, and uh, he was put in a pit for a long time. He was treated as a degenerate because of a woman who said that he wanted to rape her. He was rejected. I mean, this guy, uh, he had all kinds of things, of situations in, in his life. And you say, well, that's my story. I relate with that. And probably that's your story as well. Probably you've been in, in a, a time of your life when you have been betrayed by somebody you loved. Uh, some time in your life when you are in a pit of depression, in a pit of problems, a pit of uh, sadness. And sometimes those pits are difficult to get rid of. Have you been accused falsely lately? <laughs> if you, you know what I'm talking about, if you have been there, it, maybe your life is a mess. And Joseph's life, life was, was a, a, a big mess. Yeah, if, if someone like Joseph went through that, why not us? And, and some of us can think, yes, but I, I don't want Joseph's life. I don't want that part of Joseph's life. Who cares if, if he did or not? I mean, I, I don't want it. Uh, I, I want to have a right life. I want to have a happy life. Uh, what did Joseph do anyways to overcome all that stuff? Um, how, how to stay sharp in times of, of hardness? And this is what we encounter when we see a story like, jo like Joseph's. Uh, his dad declared uh, not just that blessing, but he declared how Joseph went through this. And the rest of this text in Genesis says, His bow remained steady. His strong arm stayed limber. Because of, the because of the hand of the mighty one of Jacob, because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel, because of your father's God who helps you, because of the Almighty. And this tells me one certain thing, and we have been talking about it in, in, in uh, our sermons on Sundays. You just need to remain. You just need to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Anyways, the, the book of Hebrews says that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And if our eyes are fixed on him, it's not that everything will be okay, but our life, our life will make sense. So the question is not if you are having a hard time. Many of us are having a hard time. Maybe this is your life today. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe you've been through hard stuff lately. The question is, the real question is, what are your eyes focused on during this hard time? Joseph's eyes were focused on what his dad said, the mighty one, the shepherd, the rock of Israel, the one who helps you because he's the almighty. I hope your eyes get fixed on Jesus today. Your life might not be better. But you will be certainly a good, a good son. You will be certainly a conqueror if you do so. Blessings.